so since we are one day away from October, I decided to start the month off with a DIY Halloween costumes. These are all Snapchat filters. They're super easy DIYs, and I think that anyone can make them. If you are looking for the list of things that you will need, they will be down in the description below. I was trying out a new style of filming, so sometimes what I'm doing gets cut off a little bit, but hopefully my instructions with the voiceover will help you figure out how to make it. At one point, I also burned myself with a hot glue gun, so that's why you see a band-aid. So with that, let's get started. To start out, I bought some gold glitter paper and then cut out a bunch of butterflies in different sizes. I took two hair clips and placed some fleece in between the prongs so that when I glued my butterflies to them, the clips would still be able to open. Then using some 20 gauge wire, I attached each butterfly to another, giving the illusion that they were resting on my hair. You could also get this by gluing them all to different hair clips, but I only had two clips so that's why I used wire. With some brown and white felt, I cut out four ear pieces, two white and two brown of the exact same shape. I placed the white felt on top of the brown one and then folded them at the bottom to create an ear shape. Then I hot glued everything in place. Using a sharpie, I added the black detail to the ear, making sure it matched the first one I made. I then rounded off the tip of the ear so that it wasn't too pointy. Finally, I decided to attach them using wire and a headband. I glued wire to the back of each ear and then just curled the wire around the headband. To make the floppy ears, I started out with four pieces of brown fabric all the same size. I then glued them together, placing the sides I wanted to show facing each other. Then I flipped each ear inside out. Next, I attached some wire to a headband in the general ear shape that I wanted. Placing the ears around each wire, I folded over the ear to the place and shape I wanted, bending the wire accordingly. I then took pink felt and glued it to the insides of each ear. I found a photo of the tongue online and printed that out, simply taping it to a wooden stick so I could hold it up. There are three flowers, the daisy, the yellow daisy, and the rose. There are also some leaves. Starting with the daisy, I made a petal shape I liked, then used that original one to trace out a total of 24 petals. I took a scrap piece of white paper as a base to glue the petals down onto. I placed three rows of eight petals, progressively moving in and alternating between petals. Then I just glued a yellow circle into the center. I then used a pen to shape the petals and curl them a little bit. Next, I used a similar process for the yellow daisy with 11 petals, and instead of gluing them onto a base scrap piece of paper, I glued them directly onto a circular yellow center. Lastly, I used the same size petal of the daisy for the rose and I cut out 20 petals. I folded about one fourth in and started gluing the folds all together, slowly working my way outwards and gluing the bottom fold to the bottom of the entire rose each time. Next, I used a mossy piece of wire to make a circle around my head for a headband. Lastly, I just glued all the flowers onto the headband how they look in the filter. So I hope this gave you some idea of how you want to do your Snapchat costume. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more of me, and thank you so much for watching. Um, um,